offensive snaps in the AFC Championship game against the Ravens. And according to his teammates, he's the rock that holds the Patriots' defense together. Every time I step on the field, I always say I have something to prove. Always. And that's my mindset. Through, through life, that would be my mindset. You know, growing up, guys told me when I missed six months of college football because of grades. People, man, I had the same people that would pat me on my back telling me I'd never make it. I never do this. I mean, I, I, can, I can see the people right now. Right now. They tell me I would never make it. I told you it was a bust. That always played in my mind. So every time I step on that field, you know, I think about those guys. And that just drives me, man. I want to win. I want to be the best. I want to play my tail off for my teammates and for home. Family has long been a part of Vince Wilfork's motivation. He says he still plays to honor his parents, who both passed away during his sophomore year at Miami. Uno. And ever since, he's also played for the woman who came to his side during that time of loss. Let's do it. Bianca was there from day one. That's right. She was my number one fan. She was everything to me. She was. You know, that's where it started. You know, a happy home, man. I've been happy for a long time. She has a lot, and I have a key. We always locked together, you know, on and off the field. We met online. He saw a picture of me. And um, he sent me this lame message and said, um, my name is Vince, call me. And put a phone number. Mm. He didn't have what a picture. Happened? He didn't have a picture. He didn't have nothing. Nothing at all. I don't know why I called him. And we been together ever since. I've seen that. I like, I gotta get that. <laughs> <laughs> Always know oh, you didn't tell her like he gave me a quiz when he met me. Oh, yeah, and what I do, you passed it. Fine, she passed. Passed. So she, what's third down? Yeah, yeah. What's what does this mean? What is that? I gave her, like, you know, he didn't give me nothing. You don't tell him nothing, nothing. You know, a five year old, say ABC, something mm. like that. No, know, he did not. Passes away, it's 10th, Wilford intercepts it, and the big guy's rumbling downfield, 320 on down. Man, to have the ball in your hands, that's a big man. That's a dream. You sit around, you talk about, man, if I get the ball in my hands, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to have this touchdown dance. That's bull crap. <laughs> that's bull crap. You know, you, first thing on your mind is first protecting the ball, and after that, to the sideline. Will Fork has savored his role as an unlikely ball hawk, and his deceptively fleet-footed returns have him envisioning an off-season foot race with a certain teammate, one who, like Will Fork, isn't known for speed. Absolutely, I can beat right. Tom Brady in a, in a 40. Like, what are you? He a beast. Talk to him, baby. You an athlete. He yeah, can do anything. Lovey-dovey at home. Same deal in the stadium. Little smooch for Bianca. As he comes out for pregame warm-ups. It's only been four years, but Vince Wilfork is the only returning starter from the Patriot defense back for Super Bowl 46, who participated in Super Bowl 42 against the Giants. You were his teammate. Tell me about the guy. You know, Bob, uh, when I think of Vince Wilfork, I'm thinking about inspiration because he's the most, he lost both his parents, but he's the most mature rookie that I've ever been around. When everyone else was playing cards and playing dominoes, he was in the playbook, he was in the weight room, but when you think about Vince Wilfork, the player, you, you don't necessarily think about versatility, but he's a very versatile player because he plays three different positions. He allows the Patriots to play the 4-3, the 3-4, and here he pushes a 300-pound and 7 yards back into the backfield, but that's pure strength, and quarterbacks want to step up in the pocket, but with Vince Wilfork, that's, you, that, that's not going to happen. Tom Brady talked about him being directly responsible for these guys being in the Super Bowl. All right, Rodney, as you can see, the teams are now on the